Hello everyone, the Lord be with you and also with you. I'm going to start by reading Psalm 95 verses 1 to 7. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. What a wonderful way to start this time together with a song of praise to God from those of us who believe in him as our Lord. But that psalm goes on to speak of people who do not acknowledge God as their Lord, people who have hardened their hearts. And the Old Testament reading set for today from Jeremiah 13 verses 1 to 11 speaks of this again. God tells Jeremiah to take a linen belt, first to wear it, and then to hide it away in a crevice in the rocks. Then he was told to go back and fetch it, and he found it ruined and useless. And God said, These wicked people who refuse to listen to my words, who follow the stubbornness of their hearts and go after other gods to serve and worship them will be like this belt, completely useless. Hard words. But if he <clears throat> is our God, then we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. And that's the place we want to be, isn't it? In his presence, praising him. And how important it is in this world that we're now living in, that we do rest in his presence. To be in his presence is to be in his kingdom. And that thought seems to have come up a number of times recently. That's partly because we're currently looking at the parables of the kingdom in Matthew's gospel. But I also think it may be that God is reminding us of how close he wants us to keep to him in this difficult time. As we live in his presence, so we can draw on his strength, his peace and his joy and be comforted and protected by him. Today's gospel reading is the parable of the mustard seed and the yeast. It's in Matthew 13, verses 31 to 35. Both those parables speak of the spread of the kingdom of God. But I just want to reflect a little <coughs> on verses 34 and 35 of this reading. Jesus spoke all these things to the crowd in parables. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. So was fulfilled what was spoken through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things hidden since the creation of the world. It's strange, isn't it? Why do you think Jesus taught us in parables? Why did he reveal the truth of God's kingdom through parables? I wonder why. After all, even the disciples weren't always sure what Jesus meant, and they asked him to explain. 
But when Jesus taught, everyone could hear his words. The thing is that only some could understand. Even today, everyone can hear what Jesus is saying if a passage is read to them. But do they really listen? Do you listen when Jesus speaks about God's kingdom? Does your heart thrill when you hear those words? Do you long to hear more? These parables of the kingdom are so important, in fact, of eternal importance. But many people just turn away, stop up their ears, close their eyes, and so their hearts remain untouched. I pray that we will all have ears to hear, eyes that are open, so that we want to come, because we want to come closer to the Lord, to be in his presence and to live in his kingdom. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to come into your presence, to worship you, to open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts to you. Lord, may we hear and understand what you are saying to us. Thank you that we can know that you are looking after us at all times, in good times and in bad, in the day and the night, and in whatever situation we find ourselves. May we be constantly aware of your presence in our lives. We thank you for all that you have provided us with. And we ask that we will have open hands and hearts to provide for those who have less than we do. Lord, we ask for your protection over those who are at the front line of this pandemic, especially those who are risking themselves daily to care for those who are sick. We thank you that the three elderly people in Essenwood Home have recovered from COVID-19. We thank you so much for that, Lord. But we also know that the disease has got into Bill Buchanan. And we pray for all those infected and affected there, especially for our own Barry Wilson. We pray that you will protect all those who live in the residential homes for the elderly. Protect us, Lord, from fear and anxiety. May we always know your comforting presence with us. We pray in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray the COVID comment. God, bless the world. Give it wisdom at this time. Grant us relief and release. Be with those who are ill and bless the carers fighting this pandemic. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. Please join with me as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And just think there that you prayed, your kingdom come. We want to be in your presence, Lord, and in your kingdom. Let's pray together the prayer for Africa. God bless Africa, protect our women and children, transform our leaders, heal our communities, restore our dignity and give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. Even though we can't be together, we can be virtually together. And so it's always good to share the grace with one another. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen. And the blessing 
of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all whom you love, now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Once again, lots of love to you all. Would love to be with you all, but this is how it is at the moment. So keep well, keep safe. Goodbye.